Okay, so in this video, we're gonna show you how to do an inner observer reliability test and using some of the tools that, that we're giving you um, off the website and off our uh, course site. So with the assignment, you're supposed to conduct an inner observer reliability test. So the first thing you wanna do is print off the ethogram that we have built and provide for you. So this is shouldn't be too new to you that you should have seen this before. Um, with all of our categories, which you can see here, you know, with uh, all the codes of the behavior, running across the top of the ethogram. So you want to print that off so you actually have a hard copy of it in your hand before you watch the video and try to certify yourself with your inner observer reliability. Now, before you do that and watch the video, it's always very important to not only print out the ethogram, but also understand the behavior descriptions so you understand what, what we consider certain behaviors. So here's the behavior guide and you can look that we have the codes written all there and then out written out is what type of behavior that we're, we're looking for that we associate with that code, right? So you wanna make sure you understand what the animal's doing. And you can also you know look at these index of behaviors and just kinda in your head figure out, okay, that's what that means, right? So once you do that, the next thing you want to do is watch the focal animal for 10 minutes on a video that we provide for you. And your focal animal <clears throat> is going to be the sorrel filly. Now this is a mixed pasture of, of colts and fillies, and they're all different colors. So the sorrel filly, which I'm going to show you here in a second what that looks like, she has a flaxen mane and tail, meaning blonde, and she has white markings on all four limbs. So this is the horse that you are gonna observe and fo focus on in the video. So that's your focal animal. Now I will tell you, there's another sorrel filly in that pasture, so don't get confused with it. I think the easiest thing to do is to look at the white markings, which you can see here. So the white markings are the ones that you can easily distinguish between the two, where you, you can't really see much of the white here, but on this one you definitely can. And this is just, you know, the, the filly was here, and then she moved forward of the other one. So keep that animal on focus, and the camera will keep focused on that animal too in the video. Now what's really nice, or what we're going to do is scan sampling every 30 seconds, but what's really nice is there's a timer built in the video that will beep every 30 seconds. So I'll show you that here in a second, that it will indicate to you that's when you take your snapshot of the animal and write down the behavior. So at the beginning of the video, there's a countdown. The timer's going to begin in 10, 9, 8, going all the way down to 1. And then you're going to see in the lower right-hand corner this timer and it's gonna be a running timer for, ten, for over 10 minutes. And so every 30 seconds, you'll take a snapshot of what your focal animal is doing. Now, just a reminder, when you're doing this, doing an ethogram or this inner observer reliability test, if the filly does two, maybe even more behaviors simultaneously, always remember to record the behavior that is closest on the left hand side. So let me give you an example of that. So here the, the filly's really doing two behaviors. Her ears are a, little pr are a little bit pricked forward and she's standing. So I would call her alert and standing. So those are two behaviors. And then if I go look at my ethogram and then I, I, I look at my codes, I see alert here and stand is way down here. Since alert is closest on the left-hand side, that's the behavior I marked down because that's the behavior we're more interested in when we built our ethogram, okay? So always record one behavior, and it's the most important one. Now, once you run through the video, you wanna take your ethogram sheet and then open up our results and score them. So let me just show you how to do that. So this isn't actual results, this isn't actually what the video shows, but I just filled it in randomly to show you. But here's a, a 10 minute observation period on a, on a horse. And so you wanna add down the columns all of the observations per behavior. And I'll tell you right now that the one with the most is eating here with eight, right? I mean, that's what horses do. And I've done enough observations on horses to know that that's what they do all day is eat, eat, eat. But you can see, you know, we added up the other columns, the other types of behaviors, and it should be 20 total if you were taking one every 30 seconds within that 10 minute period. 
Now, what you want to do is compare your results to our ethogram, and you need to score 18 out of the 20 behaviors correct compared to our results. So you add yours up, count yours, count uh, the score sheet. If you've got more than 18 correct, great, you're done, you're certified to that ethogram. If not, go back and try it again and understand, you know, maybe you can, you have our score sheet next to you and you kind of, maybe you just were confused on a certain type of behavior or whatnot. But, you know, keep doing it until you feel comfortable or you're certified uh, with that. Now, like I said, once you're finished and you do score greater than 90%, you're now certified to the ethogram. And I'll just, one last note, you're certified to this specific ethogram, right? Um, out in your own studies, when you're doing different types of animal behaviors, and let's say you build a different ethogram, you should certify yourself to one observer, whether you certify people to you if you created it, or if somebody else created that ethogram, you wanna go out, do this, like this inner observer reliability test, and your eyes should match the eyes of the person that built the ethogram, right? So you wanna to try to certify everybody within your group to one observer. That way everybody's on the same page, so when you're out doing research, you know, what, what everybody considers alert behavior, you know, what the, the person that designed the ethogram, what they consider alert behavior, everybody in the group considers that alert behavior, right? Yeah, and that's it. And that's how you, you get certified with your inner observer reliability test.